Hey Mick, another special day at the Oval and through to the semi-final of the Irish Cup. I'm yeah. sure you're delighted with that. Yeah, delighted with the performance and really delighted to advance of course. You know, there's no second chances in the Cup so we knew it was going to be a hard game and we knew Crusaders had had a few bad results in recent weeks so we knew they were going to come out and, you know, with all to play for. But I think we controlled the game from start to finish. I don't think they caused us that many headaches. They had the, the one chance, good chance they had in the first half they scored. And they had a couple of headers. That, uh, I think Jordan had a couple of headers. But apart from that, I think we controlled the game. Even against the wind in the first half. But when we got the wind in the second half, I thought we, we took control of the game and, and managed it from, from basically start to finish. And uh, Marcus Kane's goal, how do we hint the magic? He doesn't seem to score bad goals for Glen Thorne, sure he doesn't. No, he pops up at the right time. I'm glad he did. I don't know where that right-footed uh, pile driver came from, but I'm glad he got it. Look, he's, he's been brilliant all season. Um, and he's, he's, he's been a brilliant captain, a brilliant leader. And as have some of the other players you know, that have stepped in. Even the lads who didn't get on the pitch today have been brilliant. You know, the, the Johnny Frasers and the, the Kieran O'Connors and the Keith Cowans and boys that have got limited minutes. But they're all part of this. They're all big, big, big part of this. And there's a, a long way to go in the cup and there's a long way to go in the league. So we're, 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 we're happy with where we are. We're happy that we're healthy. We're happy that we're fit. We're happy that we can play at a good rhythm, at a good tempo. We've got quality all over the pitch now. And look, time will tell where this ends up. And obviously big crowd again here today, I've seen you go down to the Sydney main and then back under the family yeah. stand as well. Yeah. They're a big part today as well, Massive. of course. Look, this, is, this has been the, probably the, the most satisfying part of this, of course, is the players. Because yeah, it's about the players and the fans and the community, I've always said that. But the fans have been outstanding, really. Since I've been here, there's been dips and ups and downs, there's been some highs, there's been lows. But the fans have been outstanding and that's what, that's what this club's about. And I think if we keep putting in performances like that and showing that we're playing for them, they'll keep coming back in their numbers. And obviously semi-final, Cliftonville confirmed. Um, yeah. It's going to be a big game and semi-finals are always a big atmosphere, yeah. big crowds as well. Semi-final, any, any semi-final of any, any competition, it's nice to be in it. And people say, who would you prefer to get in the semi-final? It doesn't matter. It's a semi-final, they're going to show up, we're going to show up and we'll see what happens after the 90 minutes. We play um, Cliftonville next week. They've got a hard week. They played today, they have to play Crusaders on Tuesday night, and they have to play us on Saturday. Um, but every team's got to play. You know, you, if you look around, the teams around us, we've all got to play each other. Lauren's got to play Limfield twice, we've got to play Limfield twice, got to play Coleraine, we've got to play, you know, so it's exciting, really exciting. I'm looking forward to it because if you're in this game, in this business, it's about playing and performing on, on the big stage. So I'm really looking forward to these final eight games, the three and then the five after the split. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it and I know my players are really looking forward to it.